Okay, in this video, what we're going to do is discuss <clears throat> right beneath the video, you have some what we call common search strings. And those common search strings you're going to use in order to find writing opportunities. Now, uh, with the search strings, uh, they pretty much will locate sites on Google where people are consistently looking for writing. And what these are going to do is they're going to help you to fill in uh, those periods of time when you don't necessarily have um, regular clients, but you can get some regular writing done um, with some of these uh, with some of these search strings. Now, what you're going to do here is you're going to um, you're going to uh, enter uh, these search strings into Google and do a search. And what's going to happen is you're going to get a number of different terms. Now what we're going to do, I'm not going to do all the search terms here. Uh, all I'm going to do is just one of them. And what I would recommend that you do is to use all of the search strings until you find a suitable um, a, a suitable writing opportunity that fits number one, your area of expertise, and then also fits your level, your comfort level with uh, being able then to uh, produce the writing uh, quickly um, without mistakes and making sure that you're producing uh, very accurate uh, content for your readers. Okay, so uh, what we'll do is uh, I'm going to I'm going to uh, pull up just one of these search strings here. And we're going to choose the one we're going to call this one submission guidelines. Now that's one of them. So I'm just going to uh, take it, put it in quotations, going to put it into Google, paste and search. Now what you'll see here is you're going to see a whole page of submission guidelines and this is a clue as to uh, websites that are looking for writing. Now if you want to be more specific of course, you can put in uh, your uh, area of expertise. Let, let's say we do weight loss. And if we don't find a whole lot there, then uh, okay, we, we actually do see some here. So if your if your writing area is weight loss, you could start here. You could uh, actually niche it up by just doing the word weight, and you'll find even more that you can uh, that you can write to. Now, what are you going to, to to say? Now, typically they're going to have some pretty standard. Uh, guidelines. What you want to do is to make sure number one that you have samples in the area, and that, so that's one of the benefits of being able to make sure that you uh, already have uh, content that you have produced that you can produce on demand that you can give to them, and you don't have to spend a lot of time recreating content uh, in order to then to uh, apply for the the positions. Okay, so if you've got to produce new content every time that you that you do this, it's not going to be uh, time effective, and that's going to be one of the things that will benefit you from having a kind of a an area that you like to focus in, an uh, area where you can write in, and an area of expertise that you have. So in each one of the search strings, you should go through each one of them, and periodically you know to go back through them when you're looking for writing opportunities and you should be continually uh, putting these uh, opportunities on your schedule this is something that you need to do every single day now because you're not going to get opportunities to come back to you every day and you want to have uh, the opportunities coming to you in a continual flow so that you can replace uh, the opportunities that don't pay so well with the opportunities that do pay well Okay, so with that, thank you, and I will see you in another video.